Shalom, shalom. Keep us a sheep. Yeah, see you back with another lesson. Boy, with this video is edifying. I'd like to first start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. And shalom to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> all right, today's lesson will be titled Day Shorten through sudden destruction okay and um the days are being shortened man all right and uh it's being shortened through like i said through sudden destruction for one you know and you know prophecy being the main reason all right but it's all for the elect's sake okay and you know days short just means you know death okay you know, death in mass numbers. Okay, because, you know, to, to shorten someone's days is, you know, that just means just to, you know, you know cut their life off, you know. You know, cut the days short. All right. And this is what you can expect from here on out, man. All right. Like, you know, this is it. You know, we at the peak of this thing and that ball is rolling. It's rolling down the hill, man. So, you know, you can expect the days to be shorter, the months, the weeks, you know, you know, things, things that, you know, meaning people not going to waste a lot of time thinking about, you know, you know, would this be the right thing to do? You know, people not going to spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, how can I, they just going to, you know, uh, you know, follow the flesh. And uh, take action to their own hands, man. But we know the scripture says, lean not on our own understanding. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. And uh, yeah, man, we're coming into perilous times. Okay. Hey. But we'll start off in the book of 1 Thessalonians uh, 5. I started at one, but three is the point. <clears throat> but of those times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I have right unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. All right. Hey, it says sudden destruction. Meaning it, it, it won't, you know, the warning is going out. The warning has been going out. Okay. If you caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, obviously you didn't get the warning, man. All right. And obviously you're not part of the elect. All right. And that's just your lot, man. That's the lot that the Lord chose for you. Okay, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction sh destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with a child, they shall not escape. Meaning that sudden destruction was meant just for you. For that for that exact day, that exact hour, that exact moment, that exact second, man. Okay, and, and they shall not escape. You know, going back to Tyler here. Uh day is shortened all right that was your last day of repentance to to repent that was your last day to turn back to the lord that was your last second an hour you know whatever to turn back to the lord man okay day is shortened through sudden destruction okay when that thing happened over there in, uh in baltimore with the bridge that was sudden you know nobody expected that all right you're gonna have a lot of sudden events occur that's gonna take many lives okay and uh like i said the warning has gone out okay and uh though those who receive that warning will be the ones who dwell in peace and safety all right but for the others all right sudden destruction all right days short okay um, like I said, man, we know 
we know the day of the Lord, ultimately, is is the uh, the third world, World War Three, right? When they when the nukes are sent to destroy America, right? All right, why America though? Okay, because this is the place with the most lies, the most blood, rape, bribe, murder, murder, the most ABC community, the most you know adultery, adulterous, uh, sodomites, uh, the most. This, this is the most wicked country, the most wicked nation. Okay. So, you know, of course, this place has to be destroyed. All right. Uh, matter of fact, let's go up to some Proverbs. Proverbs 6. <clears throat> Proverbs 6 and 12. I'm going to the NLT version. What are worthless and wicked people like? They are constant liars. 13. Uh, sing, signaling their deceit with a wink of the eye, a nudge of the foot, or a wiggle of the fingers. Meaning they always trying to throw you off, man. They always trying to you know, they always trying to make it seem as they're not the wicked. They're not lying or they're, you know, everything's all right. That's that peace and safety that, you know, but, you know, Whisker says that should be peace and safety, then sudden destruction. So ultimately, there never was any true peace or safety. Okay. And for those who have eyes to see, ears to hear, they understand that, you know, that, that, that we're not in the current state of peace or safety right now. Okay, we're in the grace, yes, but we're not at true peace and we're not truly safe. All right, until the Lord come beam us up and we're you no know, change to those uh, incorruptible bodies, man. Okay, it says again, Proverbs 6 and 13, signaling their deceit with a wink of the eye, a nudge of the foot, or the wiggle of fingers. 14. They perverted hearts, their perverted hearts plot evil and they constantly stir up trouble. I Man, who is that? That's that's America, Babylon the Great. All right. They plot evil. They they, they plot, you know, all this evil in Iran and Hamas and uh, Ukraine. They, they, they plot these, you know, these evil ski also here in America. All right. And they constantly stir up trouble. All right. You had the Baltimore, the Baltimore Bridge. Uh, collapse thing, what that is constantly, constantly something here. All right, we know these are, and it says, it says, uh, they plot evil, man. Um, uh, and uh, that that's that's along with the other nations, they have took crafty counsel against you know the children of Israel, man. Okay, because at the end of the day. All these things are, you know, pushed out to keep us oppressed, keep us in the midst of sin, man. Okay. 15, it says, but they will be destroyed suddenly, broken in an instant beyond our hope of healing. There, there is again that sudden destruction. It says they will be destroyed suddenly, meaning, you know, events will take place that will suddenly take many lives. It would be suddenly, you know, it, it, you know, at the snap of a finger, man, you know, things going to happen that fast. You won't have time to think about it. You won't have time to change your mind or, you know, you may say, hey, I'm going to catch this plane and, you know, I'm going to go on a vacation or I'm going to do this or do that. And, hey, the, the, the moment, the moment you, the moment you think that, hey, maybe I shouldn't have did that, it's going to be too late. Okay. 16. These are six things the Lord hates. No, seven things he detests. 
a haughty, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. All right, and that's constantly what America does. Shit, from the time they, from the time Esau Edom got here, arrived at this, at this, at, at Amer in America, he's been shed innocent blood, man. All right, like I said, who keeps things stirred up? Who lies the most? Who sheds innocent blood? Esau Edom, so-called white man. Okay, a heart that plots evil, feet that race to do wrong. A false witness who pours out lies. A person who sows discord in a family. And that's constantly what Esau has done. He took our heritage. All right. It, it, it gave us lies, deceits. Okay. Uh, 20. My son, obey your father's commands and and don't neglect your mother's instructions. You know, it meaning, you know, I always remember the, remember the commandments, all right? Remember who you are, all right? Keep law and statute to the best of your ability. Because these are life. This is life. It's the way of life, all right? It says, and don't neglect your mother's instruction. And we know, you know, that just refers to wisdom, man. Okay? You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, all right? So, you know, these are the things you're going to need, all right, in a time of sudden destruction, Okay? Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's why, that's why I said like, that's, that's why I says, why you think the Lord said what he said in Matthew? All right. Uh, we're going to grab that. That'd be the last precept. But it's, you know, like I said, who, who, who stirs up the most, the most shit in the world? Slacking for my language, but who constantly, you know, right now with the, uh, the Iranian strike, uh, the, with the uh, missiles to uh, to Israel to to the yeah to Israel whatever, you know of course they got American ba America backing them, okay. You know I think uh, the president is having a meeting now. I know about the action they gonna take the back the back up uh, Israel in this in, you know in this, in this strike and aid them man, okay. But again, like I said, who sheds innocent? And through that, there's going to be much innocent bloodshed. Okay, on both sides. Because tr trust and believe, Iran is not going to, you know, allow America to take the side of Israel and they not, you know, retaliate. Okay, because that's, that's what this whole strike was about, retaliation strike. Uh, I think the, let's see, I have seen an article. Yes, and the article says Iran has launched attack drones and missiles against Israel in apparent retaliation for a strike in Syria that killed top Iranian military forces. All right, and you you don't think they won't retaliate on on America if America backs Israel? Of course. Okay, and, and understand that uh, the same way America backs Israel. You got other countries that's willing to back Iran, countries such as Russia, China, Africa. All right. So let's grab this in Matthew real quick. And we'll close out. So it says Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. Because of the because of America's iniquity, this place will be repaid double, and this is you know this is where majority of the elect are, all right, and all his wicked and all his wickedness, wickedness that he has planned will back everything on backfire. But why for the elect's sake, man? All right, that's why the days are being shortened. That's why you have sudden destruction. Okay, you know the Lord got a, you know he got a. Uh, Hey, you gotta keep you gotta keep us, you know, elect safe, man. All right. Like I said, the one is going out. Okay. So, you know. Hey, take heed, man. So hey Lord, what this video is edifying. Until the next time I like to close out. Give all praise, all honor, and all glory to the most high. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom and shalom to the hopeful elect.